Hey, hi, all. Welcome back to BRR Knowledge Center. And in this session, we'll see like how to write a sample test program to uh, uh, execute with help of Locust and see how it is transforming the um, stats of your uh, load test script to a Locust web interface and at the same time, how it is displaying in the console. Let me quickly get into the editor. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use the Visual Studio Coder here as an editor, IDE for writing of a script. So I'm just opening my, uh, yeah, this thing here. This is what my, you know, editor, right now I'm going to use it. <clears throat> and here uh, I was in the default folder that is, uh, you know, a locust and I'm going to create a file called demo.py. So as I mentioned, I think all the uh, files you are going to run relevant to low-cost load testing uh, would be with the extension, will have an extension with .py. It's similar to Python programming, how you're writing it. So uh, as I mentioned, the prerequisite for writing of a low-cost load test program in the Python was Python, a little bit, like a kind of oops concept, like creating of class and the creating of uh, method, the defining of uh, procedure and decorators, et cetera. So I don't think it is required advanced Python programming here because uh, basic Python program is enough to uh, learn and get into this low test program uh, script writing. So first, uh, uh, I think uh, I already got installed my uh, low cost in my local system and it is uh, running now, so I'm just directly get into this Python file and then just starting to write a program. So for the first uh, statement was importing locust. Uh, from uh, locust, I'm going to import um, uh, one is a user class and uh, second thing is a task. Uh, I think uh, next one is a sequential task. I think I'm not going to use it this, but anyway. So you just uh, uh, import these three, I think uh, these three are enough from local package. So user is basically a class, uh, which basically leverages the user class. Uh, nothing but a user, which is actually um, running your script um, uh, uh, very fast time that uh, where the locals begins starting the program to start and uh, execute your load test script. So once you import these classes, so just start defining a class of your test. So I'm going to define my, you know, um, class uh, sample test, right? So for this class, I'm passing my user uh, class object and then uh, put your code and, and then press enter so that it will adjust the indent, right? This is very important to uh, write a program in Python. Right? So Indian was a most, you know, uh, priority and most uh, uh, prominent aspect you need to look into that when you start writing a program in Python. So now here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define some tasks here for that user. So here I'm declaring a user in the sense, I'm um, uh, you know, initializing a user class here to say that, you know, like, um, so these are the tasks you are going to start uh, run through a locust. So uh, to define a task, you need to decorate using every task, right? And then define the method here. Our first method I'm going to define saying that, uh, define a sample, uh, let's say like say hi, or say hello, right? I'm just passing self so that I can access um, the, uh, no kind of web webs like get and post and patch kind of webs of HTTP protocol using self. So now uh, simple, I'm just putting the print function here, print, um, hello, um, welcome to locust demo, that's it. So this is one function I'm defining it. And similarly, you can define another function as well, like that you can define whatever or how many functions you wanted to be executed as part of this load test. So. I'm going to define another function, say by, and again passing self as a default parameter, which usually giving it for this different, you know, defined procedures. So for here, for this definition, I'm saying simple uh, goodbye or thanks. Uh, 
Thanks and uh, bye. Okay. So this is just simple program I've been defined it here uh, with the two tasks and then um, I'm saying this user class is going to start execution from here so that um, my you know execution will get started uh, based on the processes I've been defined inside of class. So as I mentioned, so class and the def def uh, defining a function or prerequisites to write a sample test program in the locust, the Python. And apart from that, I think other things are not mandatory here. Okay. So what about this constant? Why did I uh, import it here? Let me see that. If you look at any um, load testing script, so we must have some think time between each request, right? When you're sending a request to server and uh, getting a, the response back to client, and uh, as a tool, uh, as a third party, um, uh, like in a user or tester or any tool, wanted to capture a response matrix, so should have some time to capture that, right? Or should have some time between each request. That is nothing but a think time. So to put up that think time, maybe the terminal is different here in the locust here. So hence, uh, we're just using uh, wait time here, right? So I'm just defining a wait time equal to constant of one second. That's the reason I just imported here. So that's it. This is something, um, a basic uh, uh, a sample test program here. So now go to your terminal, right? Uh, just going back and try to run this program. So that the syntax of running this uh, program with locust is locust minus half and then the file name. So here my file name is demo.py. When you just type this, it, it is going to initiate you know, as I mentioned, uh, it is going to, uh, you know, uh, initiate a process to uh, up and run the UI, that is web interface of Locust, which was in Flask framework, where you have a beautiful UI and have different options to see and uh, run through, analyze your metrics. Okay, so now if you look at here, this is uh, just running interface in uh, 8089 port by default. Okay, so, and uh, taking this, right, and just go to browser, any browser, and then start running that. I think you specify local host instead of zero, 00. Okay. If you look at here, it started running my locust tube. Here you can see that this is what the beautiful UI you are having it as part of locust interface. And you can see that and you, uh, you know, wonder how the UI use looks like. So by default, it uh, show you that start new test, load test, number of users, like so how many users you wanted to run that. I'm going to give a two users, right? Uh, and spam rate, uh, that is nothing but a rate. You are going, going to go or mention it um, uh, between the uh, request which you are processing through a server. So users started per second, right? I'm going to give it one and coming to the host, not giving any host here because it is simple, I uh, know um, uh, basic level program running it and hit a start swarming. So, so eating of start swarming is nothing but, you know, you initiate process to run or attack the load test to be uh, run that. Okay. When I hit this button, then my test was started here and two users running, still status is running. And I can see aggregated results are zero, zero, zero. And uh, all these options are so far blank now, right? And the current ratio and everything, you can see it here, but charts and values and exceptions and current ratio. And the other things are blank because I'm not mentioning any host name or not running any website inside of my load test. This is a basic and uh, simple uh, program I've been write, written here. If you look at here, my uh, requests are hitting. So, so far, I think it is sending to a first method and then second method. So like that it is hitting my uh, methods, the defined procedures inside of my sample test, uh, because I mentioned um, simple print functional inside of each individual uh, procedure, then it is hitting it. So when test is running it, if you wanted to stop the test, okay, you just press control C, right? so that it will uh, stop your test and just pressing control C so that it will start my uh, test here. And you can see the results here. 
still uh, these are things are running now or else you can stop test from here itself also when you run that so it won't uh, run this test so far and when you browse it definitely you will get site can't be reached because i just stopped my locust here here okay and you can see the stats here uh, kind of a person is being um, generated and returned back from server to client and uh, you know, kind of average, min, max, median, and request seconds for uh, request for second and failure for second, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's a simple uh, program uh, to run through Locust Queue, where uh, running through our UI, and also you can run through um, you know uh, console itself. Suppose if you wanted to run this without having Locust Queue interface, then simply say that Locust minus F demo, right? And you just say that uh, minus u, this is something hyphen u for users. And again, the time uh, t, that means to stop my test after two seconds. And then just mention headless. If you mention like this way, it won't uh, you know initiate the locus web interface. It just ran the test and you know show the results on the console. When you hit the enter, it then start you know your test running. And it will tell you that runtime limit set to two seconds, hence it is just finished out the test in two seconds. So you can see the um, uh, results here, same results, and everything is uh, no, running perfectly. Look, ramping to two users straight of one per second. So all users found was two and two total users. Okay, so this was the results uh, came you now displayed on the console. So this is something uh, sample program. So I used to uh, demonstrate it here because uh, I don't want to get into uh, heavy traffic of uh, now getting the website request here because we just need to understand first the locus web interface, how it is working and how to initiate and how it is stop and how the results are showing here. In the next session, we'll see like uh, running of um, you know, um, uh, other test program with uh, the website, how it is sending request and how the response is coming back and how the chart is building and showing the actual representation on the locust web interface. Thanks for listening to this video and please watch this channel for more videos. Thank you.